What's up guys, my name is Josh and today I'm going to be showing you how to move, transfer and back up your WordPress site. Now, there are many ways of backing up and restoring your WordPress site. You could copy all the files from one location to another um, and then you could back up the tables and the database manually and then manually do it and upload it on the other server that you're going to put it on. But sometimes that can be quite difficult and it doesn't always work depending on how big your databases are so we're going to use a plugin which is um, quite a popular plugin many people would have heard of it before um, and it works really well there is a size limit on it but most most of the wordpress sites especially this one we're dealing with today isn't going to be that large so all you need to do is you need to log into your wordpress site the one that you're going to be transferring from so we're going to go into the back end and we're going to go to plugins and we're going to add a new plugin. <clears throat> now the plugin that in question is called all in one import, I believe. All in one import. There it is. All in one WP migration. It's got the most installs and the most reviews because it's actually really, really good and it works a hell of a really it really works. It's a really good uh, plugin. So activate the plugin. Go to the all in one WP migration. Go to export and export to file. You can do these other things, but they do require you to uh, buy a license for the plugin and buy, you know, the advanced options of the plugin. So we're just going to export it to a file for now. Export to file preparing to export. This may take a few minutes, this may take about an hour, but for now we're just going to wait for it to complete, which... Oh, okay. Fair enough, it is completed. So usually your file size would be much bigger than this, depending on how big or small your WordPress site is. But for this instance, it's only 53 megabytes, because I've made my own theme and it's very light, and there's not a lot of stuff on here. So we're just going to download that. And then now we have it. We've now got a backup of our WordPress site. So now we want to restore it. So we're going to restore it on a completely separate WordPress site. This is just a new, uh, just a new directory called WordPress 2. Completely blank WordPress site. Nothing on it. No plugins except the Ask Emit one, which is for spam, and which what what comes with it by default. So we're going to install the plugin again. So we're going to go and put in all in one WP, let's make life easier, and repeat all in one WP migration. Activate the plugin, go to all in one WP migration, go to import, and then drag the file that you made, that you've downloaded from your other WordPress site. So import from file, downloads, Chrome downloads, where is it? In here somewhere. There we go. And restore. Now it usually takes half an hour, depending on how much stuff you have. But obviously this size isn't going to be that big. The import process will overwrite your database, media, plugins and themes. Please ensure you have a backup of your data before proceeding to the next step. This is fine because we've, we've uh, done a brand new WordPress site. So there's nothing on it. So we're going to click continue. Now, it could take a few minutes. Oh, it's done. <laughs> Click close. And then we have to just quickly refresh. We're going to log in with the login details of the other WordPress site. So it's Josh and my password. There we go. So now it's got old rocket theme. You can see some details at the top. It's got so look, it's got my theme installed. Let's go to the front. And there you have it. A basic, a complete copy of my other WordPress site on the second directory. Now you could use this as a backup facility. So you could take a backup of your WordPress site when you finished it and just keep it as in a file somewhere and just keep it for a rainy day when your WordPress site decides to, I don't know, freeze or you get a white screen or something you just need a restore point 
So that's what I, I tend to do going forward. I back up my WordPress sites once I've finished them, keep them in a file, and then if they ever go wrong, then I can restore them. There are There is a different way of restoring it, or there's a different way to export your WordPress site. Many people would disagree with what I'm giving you. Um, but it's whatever works best for me, to be honest. It worked best for me. I've used it for six or seven sites so far varying in size one was 500 meg one was only 100 meg and the, it worked perfectly it absolutely worked perfectly if i just show you what it was all in one wp migration yep this is it all in one wp migration loads of reviews because it's absolutely the, the most handy plugin it works just works perfectly and even works with our current version. So I will leave a link in the description for that. But if you like this video, let me know in the comments. If you didn't like this video, let me know in the comments as well so I can improve and make a better video. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.